Praise the Lord. Today, I want to talk about uh, being submissive in marriage because it's been a, a topic on social platform. A lot of people arguing that the woman ought to be very submissive to the husband. Hallelujah. Um, the Bible told us to be submissive to one another. The Bible never singled out the woman folks and say, hey, you got to be submissive to your husband. No, 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 no. The Bible never said that. It says be submissive to one another. First Peter chapter 3, when you read from verse 1 to 7, he spoke about being submissive to one another. And there's a reference point when people make reference to Abraham back in the days. But let me make this clear before I dive into that topic. A real man never demands submission from the wife because a real man understands that he has to earn it. It's something you earn. You don't demand it. But a man with inferiority complex always make a demand for something he does not earn. He wants to be respected. The respect begat respect. Respect is reciprocal. You cannot be respected if you don't respect your marital vow. Amen. Now, going back to Abraham. Abraham, we all know that Sarah, the wife to Abraham, called Abraham Lord. Sarah was very submissive. But Sarah was not just submissive to Abraham. Sarah was submissive because Abraham was the head just as Christ was the is just as Christ is the head of the church. So Abraham was following God. When a man follows God, the woman follows the man. When Abraham was following God, Sarah followed him. But the day Abraham messed up, Sarah called him to other. How did he mess up? He slept with his maid. Amen. He slept with his maid. And Sarah told Abraham to kick the woman out. Now guess who was submissive to the woman? Of course, Abraham was submissive. The reverse was the case. Sarah gave Abraham a standing order to kick the woman out of the house. So it was then that Abraham reciprocated. So when a man, the husband, follows God, the head of the church, the woman follows the husband. But when a man messed up, the woman calls the man to order. I'm, I'm very humbled to say that I'm happily married and I've never for one day demanded submission from my wife. And I can attest to the fact she is very submissive to the will of God. Guess what? I end it. I tell you the truth. I end it. You better end yours and stop making a demand of something that is rightfully yours. The Lord said I should tell you that his ears are not too short that he could not hear you. But because you have refused to nurture your dreams before bringing it to limelight, that is why you are still where you are today. You are the architect of your own misfortunes because you hurriedly, hurriedly hashed your dreams before its due time. You hurriedly shared your dreams with some dream killers. Those people that pretend to be your friends, you never knew they are dream killers. The Lord said, I should tell you, your lips brought destruction upon you. But because when the Lord speaks, he changes captivity. He wants you to make a man. Elisha knew that his dream was to receive the double portion from his master, Elijah. He knew that his master was about to be taken. But there were some dream killers that came in pretense of being small, of being prophets. And they came to distract him, telling Elisha, are you aware that the master will be taken today? Are you aware that Elijah will be taken today? Elisha told them, keep quiet. Keep quiet. He did not go on to share those dreams because he understood the importance of nurturing a dream before bringing it to limelight. But there was a Joseph, a Joseph who felt he was confiding and sharing his dream with his siblings. But he never knew that there were some dream killers that pretends to be siblings in his family. He never knew that his brothers were the dream killers. 
And the Lord said, I should tell you, those people you call your cousin, nephews and nieces, brothers and sisters, they are your dream killers. It's time for you to obey the word of God and let, the God, let God share your testimony. No wonder the Bible says, And the Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand side until I make thy enemies that footstool. Bridle your tongue. Don't be too quick. Don't get too excited to share your dreams because the person you are sharing those dreams with may not be happy with you. They may be that destiny destroyer that you never knew that pretends to be a sibling. Wisdom is profitable to the wise. God bless you. Amen. Shalom.